time to set in to carry pick mode. And that wasn't hard, with temperature around 30 degrees both in the air and water. This is a dream come true, with white sandy beaches with palm trees and turquoise water. Finally I got the kiteboard up. Last time I used it I fell and got scared, so it's been stowed away the whole trip. But now it was time to overcome the fear. It worked out well, but I need a few more sessions on the water before I get some sort of confidence back. It's fun, scary and salty. We are trying to explore the inland as well, but going on hikes are hard work in this kind of temperature. If we start in the morning it's okay. The problem is that we often lose track of time or walk too far. So it has happened more than once that we are far from the boat in the middle of the day with empty water bottles. The system with Caribic taxi is great. It's a combination of bus and taxi. They go on certain routes but without time schedule and you can jump on and off wherever you like. They are always full of people and they play loud dancehall music. It costs less than one euro so it fits well into our sailing budget. We, uh, we counted 21 people in here now, in this bus.
When we planned this trip, we set up a few goals. One of them was climbing up into a palm tree and picking a coconut. It is as hard as you think it is. Luckily, I have plenty of time to practice. No one seems to look at the weather forecast. This is very strange for a Swede. What is done to talk about? But here the subject would be boring since all days look more or less the same. Sun and 15 knots of wind always from the same direction. And one or two short rain showers every day. Follow us next week when we go on a carnival in Martinique. Thanks for watching.